And I was fortunate enough to start investing in my early 20s. And, and really so when you were a ball player, yeah. you started investing immediately. I started thinking about life after baseball. And what were you investing in? Really apartments. is the only thing that I really understood. Huh, the only thing I had time for. And the other thing that with some moderate debt and some decent management, I can pay off debt and real estate over time if it's the right location. Right. It would, um, you know, raise in value. That's what, it's, what, that's what it's done. So you stayed away from stocks. You invested essentially what you understood. Yeah. Real estate has obviously been a pretty good deal down, was it mainly in the Miami area? Mainly South Florida, United States. We we got to about 13,000 apartment units in 14 states all over the southeast quadrant of the United States, southeast. Now, do you think a lot of sports guys come out of, come out of the game, they have a few bucks, but they inevitably get ripped off, they lose their money. Why, why does that happen? Do, do, do they, yeah. I mean, there was Rocky Marciano was so scared about being ripped off by people. Yeah. The, the former heavyweight champion that used to stick stick dollars in his mattress. He had it all in the mattress. Uh, obviously, that's going too far. Yeah. Why? Why do so many sports guys screw screw this up when they leave? So if you just think about the math, right? I mean, you're trying to build your 10,000 hours. Uh, your window's very small. Take baseball. Average career is five and a half years. Right. If any player, Charlie, if you make most of your money from age 20 to 30. We all make silly decisions from age 20 to 30, right? Absolutely. Regardless of your education and your background academically. Right. So it's just the, the perfect storm. With that information alone, and less than 5% of our athletes, less than 5% have a college degree. Uh -huh. I would just short the stock, right? So for me, it's really about being proactive early in your career, putting money away in a bucket that perhaps you can't touch till you're 45. And doing something you understood. Always. I think a lot of people get involved in certain stocks and investments they don't understand. It was relatable to, to you. Real, real estate was relatable. Charlie's a few things, and it's fairly simple. It's just like sports. In order to win championships, you need great players. You need Andy Pettit. You need Derek Jeter. You need Mariano Rivera to close. Right. Business is the same way. Get into something you understand, something that you're passionate about, and then get a world-class management team and have fully alignment. They have to be able to taste the champagne if you win a championship. Okay. Since you mentioned the guy's name, and I'm not going to mention him, uh, there's a certain ex-ball player who you played with who now owns part of an ownership group, yeah. leading an ownership group, yeah. running the Miami Marlins. You're, I guess you're a hometown. Yeah. Do you think necessarily the skills you have on this field, and it, it, listen, it, it, playing baseball is a, is a thinking man's game. You know it, I know it. But do those, does that, that sort of intellectual skill translate into running a team, which is a really difficult business. What, what do you think about that? Well, first of all, Derek Jeter is a five-time world champion. I would right. not bet against Absolutely. Derek. Okay? I, agree. I agree. And we're going to be able to judge that transaction in three to five years. The Cubs were terrible. Now they're world champions. Houston Astros were terrible. Now they're world champs. Derek will get a team around, and he'll figure out a way to win. In business, is the same way. Yes, I think it translates. I think sports athletes have a potential to be great business people, not good. Now, what you have to do is you have to surround yourself with the world's best talent. Who is the best private equity guy? Who is the Mariano Rivera of private equity? Who is the Derek Jeter of uh, real estate? Well, that's Barry Sternlit. That may be Apollo. That may be KKR. And then are you aligned? If you make a dollar, do they make a dollar? That's the key. So, but some of this is so granular. How do you put people in seats? How do you sell sponsorships? Isn't that a tough thing to learn? I, I, don't, I couldn't do it. I've been covering business for years. The good news is not one guy has to learn everything, right? right? If I'm a math guy, then I'm going to get together with someone who's a great communicator. If I don't like publicity, I'm going to go out and get a great publicity. Has he been surrounding himself with good people? Well, I, I don't know anything about that deal. I just know that long term, I'm always um, bullish on what Derek Jeter is going to do, and I'm bullish on Major League Baseball.